I think one of the big struggles that students today are really facing is unprecedented debt. And for students, you know, the cost of tuition, books, room and board, all of that is extremely high, much higher than it was when I went into college and when perhaps our parents and grandparents went to college. For professional programs such as education, there's also additional fees for testing and certification. And so for a student who wants to be a teacher, there's a really large cost uh, associated with being in a professional program. The Logan Scholarship is the largest endowment that we have ever received here at WSU. It's $16.5 million, and it's for high-achieving undergraduate and graduate students with a demonstrated financial need who intend to pursue public school teaching. When I was in middle school, I would help out a lot in my mom's classroom, and I remember very specifically working one-on-one -on -one with a child who had a disability. And that interaction and experience just really set me forth in my path and made me realize that if I can have a difference on like that one child, I want to do that for the rest of my life. Everyone said, you should be a teacher. And I said, no, that's not what I want to do. Um, and then I ended up taking some time off after getting my associate's degree. Uh, I worked at Chuck E. Cheese, so uh, around a lot of kids. And then I also ended up homeschooling three of my siblings. And then that's what, uh, nailed it home for me and I said, okay, I want to be a teacher. I grew up on the, in Plummer, Idaho on the Coeur d'Alene Indian Reservation. I learned stories, I learned about my history, I learned about different, our value system, our traditions and everything. And when I really thought about that, I was like, okay, I think I want to go into education. Like, I want to be able to speak my language. I want my kids to speak their language. I want people to know where they come from. The Logan Scholarship is really helping us attract the best and brightest students into the field of education. I really want to be a game changer in the field and really do something different, creative, and fun that really helps students become well-rounded individuals in every area of their lives, not just education. When I think about getting a degree, like in a lot of Native communities, knowledge is not something that is your own, it's shared among the community. So when I'm getting my degree, I'm getting this for me, for my daughter, for my family, for my tribe and everything, for everyone to benefit. It's really bringing hope to my community. It really is about service to the state, and I think that one of the greatest services that we can make to our state is to make sure that all of the kids in the state of Washington have access to a really great quality teacher. Having scholarship money and the donations and the support means so much because it's showing that people are supporting teachers and supporting me and my dreams, specifically supporting what I'm passionate about and what I want to do with the rest of my life. I was really excited and kind of shocked to get it. Um, and it's kind of cool to start receiving scholarships for your specific field. It's just amazing that private donors are willing to do that and when like a first generation student doesn't have to take out a loan that's like another like weight off our shoulders and everything. I think that every successful person out there can probably point to a teacher that has really made a difference in their life. I'm really confident that many of the teachers that we are developing here in the College of Education at WSU are making large impacts here in the state of Washington but also in the nation. It's so important to have donors contribute to the school and to scholarships and just supporting us students because it's more than just supporting our financial needs, it's supporting our dreams and what we want to do and so it's so important more than just money. Sometimes we don't always see the impacts that those gifts are having but it is making a huge impact. I mean you have to think about not only me but all the other people that are getting funds, where would they be at, how would their stories change if they didn't get those funds. I'd probably just say like Lee Lynch, like thank you, that's like from my people, so thank you. Thank you for allowing me to become a teacher um, and to go out into the field of education. Thank you for believing in me.